I think I got the Pfizer. Pfizer. It wouldn't have matter. We're happy we got Pfizer. <laughs> Why? Why is that? Uh, just because it seems to be the one that's most studied and has the most data behind it. Busy at the M&T Bank Stadium mass vaccination site Monday. First shots of Pfizer going into arms here today. I had no problems with the Johnson & Johnson uh, <clears throat> or the Pfizer. I just wanted to get whatever we could get. Any other vaccine is okay for me. It would have been the Johnson & Johnson. I would have taken it as well. Thousands of Johnson & Johnson doses will be deployed at this location this week, state health officials say. Maryland got 49,600 doses in this initial allocation, half of them going to two mass vac sites, m and and the new one in Charles County. 10,000 doses to local health departments, the rest to hospitals and community providers. The federal government's made it very clear there's no guarantee that's what we're going to get next week. Separately, MDH says the feds will send J&J &J vials to CVS and Walgreens as part of the federal pharmacy partnership program. We asked, will the feds also be sending some to its key installations in Maryland, like the NIH and the FDA? We have discovered in the last week and a half, there are uh, a number, you know, so tens of thousands of doses that are in an allocation for Maryland for federal workers. The doses are there, we don't have access to them. So we're trying to figure out how that's gonna work. This was revealed by the CDC, he says, and we're talking about at least 100,000 doses. The Secretary Schrader says he believes that could help explain why the state's vaccine administration rates have been so far below some national rankings. But he says, most importantly, we're talking about more than 100,000 doses of vaccine that should be here and going into the arms of Maryland residents. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.